Hello fellow cyborgs! Today I want to take you virtual book shopping with me. I am really nosy and I want to know why people decide to make certain book purchases over others. So I figured I would try taking you with me today. We are going to specifically be looking at only Valancourt books. This is a... I didn't look up any stats. I, I think they're an independent publisher and they publish a lot of vintage things. They have a section all about, in fact, let me just like show you their website. So this is Valancourt Books. I'm, specific, specific, <laughs> I'm specifically here because they have a paperbacks from hell series that was, I think because of Grady, it's Grady Hendrix and Will Erickson. So these are like vintage 70s and 80s horror gems that have now been reprinted with their original covers that um, Hendrix that Hendrix celebrated in his paperbacks from hell book. So I already have a book from Valancourt Books, which is their Victorian Christmas Ghost Stories Volume 1 collection. I haven't read it yet. That's on the docket for this year because I got it for Christmas last year. I've been binging a couple horror novel or horror literature podcasts. One is Talking Scared, which is hosted by Neil McRoberts. And then the other is Books in the Freezer, which is hosted by Stephanie over at That's What She Read. I have been listening to Books in the Freezer for longer than Talking Scared, but Talking Scared has been my new binge project. I was recently listening to the episodes where both of those podcast hosts individually interviewed Grady Hendrix. And he talked about in one of them, I want to say it was Talking Scared, but do not quote me, that one of the books that he would recommend to people is called The Tribe. And he described it as one of the best, like, snapshots into New York City. And it has to do with a, and it has to do with this man who survived an internment camp during World War II. And now he's in New York. And then I can't remember if he or if his son gets murdered, but then the murderers end up being murdered themselves and they are covered in this weird gray dust and it sounds like Jewish folklore is going to come into the story and it sounded like the bomb diggity so let's look here at the tribe because that is the whole reason why I'm here so let's see um let's see the rabbi's son gets murdered anyway so this has an awesome cover i don't particularly love books about new york city but i also find my indifference to the city to be problematic so i'm hoping that this would be a book that kind of celebrates new york city that i will actually enjoy so i want to buy this and i'm going to do that i am going to purchase the paper book Ooh, I could just purchase the ebook. Nah, I'll just purchase the paperback. So the website kicked me back, so I'm going to search for paperbacks from hell. I don't have a budget in my headset. Well, I do. I kind of don't want to spend more than sixty dollars. Is the hope today? And I don't know what I want to get. I kind of just want to like look at things with you also because I really like the idea of Valancourt books. I have not read any books by Valancourt books, but I like the idea of what they're, I like what they're doing. I like the products that I see on the internet. They seem to be good products. The other thing that I was looking at with Paperbacks from Hell that I have heard, I think I've heard Grady Hendrix. I think Stephanie from That's What She Read on her podcast, we're talking about The Auctioneer, which is also part of the Paperbacks from Hell series. It also has an introduction by Grady Hendrix. Um, it's also a female author, and that's also a bonus of why I wanted to pick up these two specifically, because I want to read more horror from not white dudes. So this looks like it's a small community that gets um, under the sway of somebody who has malicious intent. It sounds, well, here down here, it says that it's reminiscent of the lottery and needful things. I like the idea of needful things, but I am really intimidated by Stephen King's work. So I think I would much rather try this one out. And especially since I've heard good things. So I'm also going to add that to my cart. Okay, so we're at 34 bucks right now. So that's not bad. 
So looking at the rest of them, I just thought that we could have an appreciative moment for some of these covers while we're here. So this one looked like a really nice cover, but it looks like it's a white dude. I'm assuming, I'm presuming a white dude, but I'm not sure. Um, and I read the synopsis the other day and it just didn't seem to be like exactly what I wanted, but I like that cover a lot. The other cover that I really liked the look of is, let me see. This one also has a really fun cover that I thought I would share with you. I didn't read this. Well, let me read what this one is. Oh, it came out in 1990. That was my birth year. Okay, so it looks like it's a vampire novel in New York City, and I'm presuming it's a young white dude is the protagonist, and I'm going to skip that for now. I am going to skip that for now, but yeah. So let's also, so their catalog has these categories, gothic and romantic, Victorian and Edwardian, Horror and science fiction, LGBT literature, literary fiction, international series, vintage thrills and chills, and audio. Oh, they have audiobooks? I didn't know that. Oh, it's through, probably through Audible. I don't want to support Audible. Okay, so let's look at the horror and sci-fi section because there was another horror book. So they are publishing, apparently, the Monster She Wrote series. Those covers look nice, but I don't think I want to read any of those right now. Ah, uh, this was another one that had a fun cover for Paperbacks from Hell. I don't know why it wasn't on the other page. Isn't that a fun cover? I like that cover a lot. But when I was reading it, I was thinking maybe misogyny because it has to do with this woman suddenly having like strange new powers and is she crazy or is she not? And it also looks like it's from the perspective of George, her husband, and uh, I don't really need to hear husband's opinions on their wives, but thank you. Appreciate it. So I think let's keep looking. These are pre-orders, new releases. Oh, I like that cover. That's fun. Oh, that's a pretty cover. Wisteria Cottage. I kind of don't want to get too much more horror because I'm still a real nor horror newbie and I don't want to commit to physical books. See, that's the one that I, that's not the one that I have. That's volume three, I think. I have one of these. Oh, that's another cover of the auctioneer. I like the other one better though. The other one's fun. Ooh, that's a fun cover. I like that one. That one's fun. Ooh, these two. Those are fun covers. I like that cover too. The Traveling Grave. Okay, let's just click on that. What is that one? What is that one all about? Oh, it's short story collection. Okay, I'm not into short story collections right now. I have a couple on my shelves that I just don't read. But I like the cover. That was a good cover. Let's see. I think this is the one that I have the Victorian Christmas ghost stories. So I'll be reading that this year. <laughs> Kitty. I think that's all I'm going to look at at the horror right now. Let's look at some of the other things they have. I like the idea of gothic and romantic, but I don't think I've actually read anything that's resonated with me. So let's just have a little peek see here. Yeah, I'm just like not my vibe right now. Don't love the covers of these so much. I'd have to do more research and I, I have not been in the classic mood. So we are going to switch to something else. Well, let's have a peek at the Ed Edwardian Victorian section, even though I'm probably not going to read anything. Oh, look at all of the cute covers. They have five now. That's cool. I only thought that they had three. Those are adorable. Um, those are really cute and maybe I will collect them one day. Complete Judith Lee adventure. Looks like she's accosting a man. What's happening? What? A female detective using lip reading and jujitsu. Wow. It's annotated and illustrated. That's cool. I'm not going to get that today, but that sounds really fun. I'd have to look that up again. I like that cover. It's striking. And I feel like she should totally just do whatever you need to do to that man. He probably did something bad. Yeah. Okay. So that's all I'm going to look at with the, oh, that's pretty, that's pretty cover at the Edwardian and Victorian section. There's one that I love the cover of. This one. I love the cover of. It's got badgers on it. Let's see if we can find the book and look at it in a little bit more detail. I'm just not convinced that I actually want to read it versus I just want to own the cover. So this one I've been eyeballing for a while. So it looks like somebody has gone through a trauma in their family. And then he meets a handsome young man with a dark secret, but then like drama ensues because maybe young man 
has knows something about what happened. I don't know. I just I haven't heard anybody about it. I haven't heard anything about it. I well, you know what? Let's look. So Harmonica's bridegroom. Let's go to Storygraph and see if anybody has any opinions on it on Storygraph. Cause bridegroom. Same. Is that Paul Binding? Yeah. Oh, so much better cover on the Valancourt. Okay, so it's only 186 pages. Emotional reflective slow paced. No content warnings yet. Only one person has read it and they gave it two stars. Humph. Well, that does not fill me with optimism. Hi, Kitty. Oh, hey, bro. You need to come on my lap again or are you going to be in the mic? Come here. Baby, my girl. Yes, good job. Let's see. Does this say anything else? I think this says the exact same thing. Disturbing dark novel. That's a debut. Yeah, see, I don't, I just don't, I don't know. I don't want to commit to this. So, but I like the cover mostly because of the Bedgers. Mostly because of the Bedgers. So let's go back and see what else. I think part, you know, part, oh, I looked into this one, pretty cover. Uh, but again, I wasn't sure about it. I think most of it is like, I really like not going in blind <laughs> because many times at the beginning of my booktube career, I uh, career walls, I um, bought things just based off of like how pretty they were or like, I want to be the first one to discover this. Oh, they have Carmilla. I don't like that edition that much. I wanted to be the first one to discover something and then like they were fine or I never read it. So, but let's just have a look at some more of these. The 4th of June looks cute cute cover Saturday night at the Greyhound I like that cover Crocodilia interesting I like that cover though it's nice and colorful okay so that yeah I'm not nothing calling to me with the LGBT literature um let's do literary fiction even though that has not been my jam for a while as you well know if you've been following my channel this year I've been reading a lot of YA fantasy which is not here necessarily which is not on this website so much sea of glass none of these harriet by elizabeth jenkins i feel like i've heard about that but eh. billy liar on the moon that looks like an that's an interesting cover striking Ooh, the liberty man that one's striking as well Ooh, the baker the landslide i like that let's okay we're gonna just we're gonna saturn over the water that's also interesting we're gonna click on the landslide 43 humph uh it's about a dragon and a sea serpent okay so this looks like it's about a primeval world nugget that was discovered after a landslide and then a boy and his grandfather like it and then the church gets involved and I'm assuming stuff goes to heck. So I will skip that. I will skip that, especially the 1943. I'm not quite so sure I want, want that. The feminist book I have read for months, a marvel, oh, that's a very odd way to do that cover let's look at saturn over the water because it's south america action and suspense a climax in, in the mountains of australia that's what she said yeah it sounds a little too actiony for me but intriguing cover the ha ha what's that interesting cover 61 winner of a prize interesting an exploration of a young woman's mental illness She's in an institution. She falls in love with a patient there, a fellow patient. Hmm. I won that sounds kind of like an acacia book, personally, I think. She loves themes of mental illness and in institutions. So if you're watching Acacia, the haha, -ha, that might be for you. Okay, so that was all of the literary fiction. We have one more section I'm going to look at. Well, I guess two. International series. What does that mean? Oh, they're translated books. Humph. Okay. Interesting. Okay, that's it. All right, cool. I didn't say anything that screamed out to me. 
let's see. Oh, wait, this one. What is this one? Okay, so it sounds like there was a person who did the murders and then threw himself into the lake with his decapitated victims. And now it's a haunted cabin and somebody is like, it's not haunted. And then he disappears and then his family go to try to save him. I like that cover. It is striking, but I think I'll pass. Okay, so let's go to Vintage Thrills and Chills and see... Oh, okay, six queer things. That looked interesting. What is this? Okay, so it is does not seem like it's going to be queer, which is unfortunate. So I will pass on that. Let's look at some of the other options now that the cat has decided to go frolic elsewhere. Stories of the strange and sinister. The mummy. The mummy might be interesting. Ah, the film's good enough. The film is good enough. Okay, let's keep looking. The Master of the Macabre. Hell, said the Duchess. A bedtime story. What's that? Let's look. 34, 1934. A female killer stalks the streets of London, sleeping with young men before slashing their throats and mutilating their bodies. Humph. I don't know if I trust you, Michael Arlen. What? Okay, so this... <laughs> this looks like a like twist on Jack the Ripper, but a lady's doing it, and I don't want to read that. <laughs> Thank you though. Appreciate the offer. The Beetle, I have that on ebook already, so I am not going to buy that. Okay, so that was the entirety of their catalog. So I think I'm just going to stick with those two that you saw me put in the cart. So the tribe and the auctioneer, and I will just buy those today. Thank you for coming along online book shopping with me and this experiment. Hopefully it was interesting and entertaining for you. And let's see if I can read these books kind of promptly and maybe I'll do like a Valancourt books review or wrap up or something at the end of the year. So yes, thank, thank, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, Maybe try a Valancourt book and continue to be lovely.